Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with modeling our subtraction on our place value chart and relating it to the vertical form. So just as the same as we did in our previous lesson. So our learning goal for today says, I can use drawings to model decomposing three digit numbers to subtract and relate it to the vertical standard algorithm. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are a dry erase board and your place value chart. Again, if you don't have a place value chart, just draw one on your dry erase board with hundreds, tens, and ones columns. All right, so we're gonna start with 430 minus 129. What do you notice about these numbers? I don't know about you guys, but 129 is pretty close to 130, right? So I can solve this problem mentally. So I'm gonna add one to this to make this easier to subtract. So now I have 130, but I have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna add one to that one as well. So now I'm gonna start with, my new problem is 100, or 431 minus 130. So start with 431, we break apart those two numbers. 431 plus 100 is 531, or I'm sorry, minus 100 is 331. Then I would subtract 30 and I'm left with 301. So friends, don't get confused like I did and tried to add those numbers. So make sure you're always looking at your symbol to know which operation you need to be choosing. See, even teachers make mistakes sometimes, but you gotta catch yourself so you don't get the whole answer wrong. All right, so you could also solve this problem using the vertical standard form too. So friends, when you look at this and you don't see, oh, that's really close to 130 and the other number is 130, don't worry about it. You don't have to solve it mentally if you don't want to. You can use the vertical standard form. All right, so 941 minus 587. What strategy would you use to solve this problem? I'd probably use a vertical standard form just because it looks like I'm gonna have to do some decomposing. And sometimes that's harder for me to follow in my head with doing all of those steps. So it's easier if I can write it out. All right, so here's my place value chart. Here's my problem written vertically in the vertical standard form. Remember your numbers are lined up nice and neat by their place value. So the ones are lined up together, the tens are lined up together, and so are the hundreds. We start with modeling 941 because that's the whole. And when we're subtracting, we're starting with the whole. So here is 941. Now notice today, instead of using, in, like in the previous lesson, I drew 100 with a circle to kind of represent like my own place value disks for my drawings. This time I'm just gonna draw dots to make it easier. However, make sure when you're drawing dots that you're using some space in between them because sometimes we'll draw dots and they're too close together and they end up looking like one bigger dot and then your subtraction will be wrong because you're gonna miscount your dots. So just make sure that you give some space in between, okay? All right, so we're gonna start in the ones place. I have one one. That's not enough to take away seven. So I'm gonna decompose a 10 because I know inside that 10 is hiding 10 ones right there. So let's model that what we just did on our place value chart or our vertical form. So we no longer have one one and four tens. We have three tens and 11 ones. So now we have enough to subtract. So today I'm just gonna cross off seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then I'm left with four. Now I go to my tens place. I don't have enough tens here either. Oh goodness, this would have been a lot hard, a hard problem to do mentally. So I'm glad I chose the vertical form and my math drawings. So I'm gonna go to this hundred right here and I'm gonna decompose 100 into 10 tens. Okay, so now let's model that on our vertical form. We're left with eight tens and 13 ones now. Or 13, sorry, eight hundreds and 13 tens. So now we can subtract eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm left with five tens. Now I move to my hundreds place. Eight, ten, eight hundreds minus five hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Leave me with three hundreds. 
So 941 minus 587 equals 354. Oh, remember we can prove our answer by adding the parts to see if they equal the whole. So let's do it. We're going to line up 587 plus 354. If I subtracted correctly, my total should be 941. So let's see. Start in the ones place. 7 plus 4 is 11, so that's 110, 1, 1. We'll move to the tens place. 8 tens plus 5 tens plus 1 more is 14, so that's 4 tens, 100. And then we move to our hundreds place. 5 plus 3 plus 1 more is 9. So look, friends, 941 equals 941. We did it! Awesome. All right, let's look at another one to practice. And this one you guys are going to do on your own. So make sure you have your dry erase board. 624 minus 225. Okay, so you're going to solve using math drawings and the vertical standard form. So pause the video. Go ahead and do your awesome work. Rock it with your subtraction. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So we're going to start by modeling 624. 624. We're going to start in our hundreds place. Or I'm sorry, our ones place. Oh, silly, Mrs. Walker. We're going to start in our ones place. We don't have enough ones to be able to subtract. So I'm going to decompose a 10 into 10 ones. Let's model what we just did on our vertical form. So now I have 1 10 and 14 ones. Now I can subtract 5, and I'm left with 9 ones. I move over to my tens place. I only have 1 10, I can't take away 2. So I'm going to decompose 100 into 10 tens. Let's model that now. So we have 5 ones, or 5 hundreds, and 11 tens. Now I have enough to take away 2, 2 tens, and I'm left with 9 tens. Then we move to our hundreds place. I have enough to subtract here. Whew, I don't have to do any more decomposing. So now I subtract two hundreds and I'm left with three hundreds. So 624 minus 225 equals 399. Oh, you guys got to prove your answer though. You got to prove it to make sure that it's right by adding those two parts to see if they equal the whole. So pause the video, add your two parts, and see if they equal the whole. Then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's how I would do it. So I'd start with the ones place. Nine plus five is 14, so that's one ten four ones. Move over to the tens place, and you add those together and you get 12, which would be 100 and two tens. Then I add my hundreds place, which would give me six. So 624 does equal 624. Yes, we got it right. Great job, friends. All right, so you guys did a wonderful job with that one. And a great job, not just a good job, using our drawings to model that decomposing with our three-digit numbers to subtract and relating it to the vertical standard form. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.